Oh, we got the military coming after me here. That wouldn't be all that surprising, actually, considering what's going on between Canada and China right now. But we're not going to talk about that. I am Ryan, and I am cold, hanging out in Chengdu, going for some delicious food. Uh, it's winter time, obviously, and uh, here's just one sign of winter in Chengdu. We got the sausage meat hanging out. This is Sichuan sausage. It's pork, probably some spices and some hua jiao, some uh, numbing peppercorn. And they smoke it. They take it out into the country or some, there's probably some places around here. And they just like pile on wood and, and stuff and then uh, kind of cold smoke it. So it's not actually cooked. You're supposed to cook it as well, but smoke <laughs> you, man. Jesus Christ, that's loud. I would say seeing Sichuan sausage hanging to dry is a sure sign that it's winter in Chengdu. But another one is Yang Rou Tang. Yang Rou Tang is a type of soup. Tang means soup. And Yang Rou is uh, it's kind of tough to translate actually because it could mean goat, it could mean sheep. They have the same word for goat and sheep. So I'm not really sure what I'm eating today. I'm pretty sure that it's sheep. But then another question pops up, is it lamb or is it mutton or maybe even hog it. Uh, a quick lesson on sheep as meat. Lamb is a sheep that is under a year old. A hog it is between a year and two years. And mutton is the term we use for the meat when it is two years or older. Oh, let's have a look in the back seat of a cop car. It looks just kind of like a shitty car. The largest consumer of sheep meat in the world per capita is Mongolia, which is perhaps where this dish originated. I'm not really sure, uh, but there's there's quite a few like sheep restaurants around Chengdu, and a lot of them are Mongolian themed or maybe Mongolian owned. Um, there's also a large Muslim population, and they eat a lot of sheep or lambs because um, they don't eat pork. So we find quite a bit of lamb and, and sheep in the area. By the way, you should watch my video about when a group of my friends and I went and ate a whole lamb. Uh, it's, it was amazing. It was probably the, one of the best meat experiences of my life. And I've had a lot of meat experiences. That sounds really bad. So when looking for a place to eat Yang Rou Tang, uh, it's a little difficult because a lot of these places just pop up in the winter. Restaurants that I go to all the time will suddenly serve it. Um, and some of these places, including the one I'm headed to right now, they, I don't think, are even a restaurant until winter rolls around and they start serving this lamb soup. Oh, look at this. This is so beautiful. Check out this. This is Chuan Chuan restaurant. And they're just cleaned off the Chuan Chuan sticks. This is actually famous. Uh, oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just a piao liang. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I actually stumbled across this place by accident. It's one of the few places I haven't really done research on. Um, now I gotta find it again. Definitely didn't pass it. Well, it's gone. It was right here. It used to be all set up kind of on the sidewalk. It was really cool. Actually, I have footage of it. I'll show that footage of it.
们来这五十二次六十八。哎，我陪白金嘛。Success. Beautiful bowl of lamb soup. Uh, so it's about two hours later. I wandered around for a long time. So this is my sauce. I got some cilantro, some hot peppers, chili oil, and this guy here is some stinky ass tofu. It's like really potent stuff. Um, that's what they eat with it. I've never done this before, but I think you want to put some of that broth in there. And I'm going to break up the tofu even. So it's throughout the whole thing. All right, let's try this broth. It's very white. I don't know what it's made out of other than probably some lamb. Good. It's got more flavor than I thought it would. Mm, lamb fat. Yeah, the meat's really nice, tender, the flavors of the broth, it's good, it's got kind of a muttony taste to it, um, but it's, it's like not very strong. So we got all kinds of bits in here, we got some intestine, we got some um, stomach pieces, some meat, and probably some liver and stuff like that. I'm going to try dipping a piece into this dip. Wow. Dip's pretty good. That stinky tofu adds so much to it. It's like this uh, cheesy kind of flavor to it. You can add some garlic with it. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. This food really does warm you up. In China, they put food in two categories, warming and cooling. So everything, well, you can also have neutral, but every uh, ingredient, every dish uh, is put into one of those two categories. It all goes back to Chinese medicine where they believe that your internal body temperature really affects um, like your health. So you want a good balance there. Some people will need to be cooler, some people be, need to be warmer, and sheep are warm. But that's why they eat it in winter, because it warms you. Hot soup with the warming meat. Let's see, they got some ginger in here. Flavor, you got a rib, some lamb rib. Lots of awful pieces. Pretty quiet right now, it's like two o'clock, three o'clock, everybody's working. I read that Half of Americans have never had lamb, which is kind of baffling to me. And the ones that have, they might be eating mutton actually, because in America they don't have to label it as mutton. Any sheep meat is called lamb. You can label it as lamb. And usually if it's a true lamb, they'll say like premium lamb or something like that. The sauce like adds so much flavor, and it, you can control how much flavor you want because of the sauce. You don't want to put some of that stinky tofu in it, you don't have to. Um, I recommend it. Um, you can go spice level, you can go garlic level, you can you know, really customize the meal. Because this is a little plain on its own. It's like just like a kind of typical broth. 
It's good though. Okay, here's a scoop for you guys. I really think more people should be eating mutton. Why not let the lamb grow a little bit bigger, as big as it can be? I'm sure there's some kind of equation that balances it, like how much you're paying for to keep the animal alive versus how much meat it's producing in those years. I think I heard ideal uh, time to slaughter a pig is like pretty early, so maybe that has something to do with it, but I don't know. Mutton soup. Mutton makes you stronger too. I don't know a lot of people know that. So the meat in this is probably stewed. Hot bowl of lamb soup on a quiet winter's day. Makes Chengdu livable in winter. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe below if you haven't already. And be sure to hit the bell icon after you've subscribed. Get notified of upcoming videos. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, in the next food adventure. Yeah. I don't wanna hang around y'all, pray for good health One day I'm really gon' ball, fuck around and buy the whole mall Breaking that cake, Texas 700 in the bank Not a superhero, I'm safe Look at my face, look at my grades Don't match up, no love